Hello there, my name is Sam and thank you so much for coming to this video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can apply effects or audio effects on your samplers and a quick mapping. I'm going to show you two ways. One that allows you to play both the effects on the music and the samplers and the other way for samplers only. Let's get started. Alright, so I'm first going to clear up everything that I have mapped up here. So let me start with the first one that allows you to set on both the music and the samplers. On top of these samplers that you're seeing, I hope you see my cursor. There's a small dot on the right. When you tap there, come to audio output, and then here you can select the deck that you want to use. You can use deck one. In this case, I'm going to use deck one to apply these effects, these audio effects to the samplers and the music at the same time. So audio output, you can also use deck two. And then if you want to use both, you can use master deck. So the music was taking the effects, but then the samplers were not taking that. So for you to do that, come back to the dot, audio output, then make sure you come down to the last one, which says apply deck effects. So listen to that. So both the music and the samplers are taking the effects. Now that only happens if you make sure there's apply deck effect. So if you remove, nothing plays like that. The music will take the effects, but then the samplers cannot. I hope you are hearing this in the background, just as I'm talking over it, okay? But we have applied this to only the first deck. So for you to work on both decks, you must come back to that dot there and then make sure you select the master deck, just like this audio output, okay? Uh, here, and then make sure you click on trigger deck not master deck it's trigger deck if it's active then you should be able to hear that on both decks ignore this screen okay just ignore this screen. so that was the first step then the other style which i talked about is the one that is going to play on only the samplers the effects will affect only the samplers but the music will remain so come back to that then show effects the last one instead of going to audio output come to show effects just click on that so you should be able to see this little window on top of the samplers here. So those effects are going to work on only the samplers. It has everything you can take on any effect by clicking on the drop down arrow. So I'm going to use this cut effect. It also has its control. So when I play a sampler and press on a key that I mapped, it should take the effects. Just listen to this. <laughs> Alright, so you've heard it. The, the, the effects are only affecting the samplers but not the music. These effects which are working here are just for samplers. You can also make sure both of these settings, the first style is active and also the second style. So you can come back and apply the effects. That's for the first style. So that both of them can work just as you can hear this in the small background playing. So that is that. I should also show you a quick mapping for both of these styles. Uh, for this one, I'm using letter H, and then for the other ones, I'm using the other letters I'm going to show you. So for you to be able to do this, go to your configurations or settings, and then come to mappings, just above options, okay? You know mappings. If you don't yet know, this is it. So come to that box up there. I said I'm going to use the letter H. So in the, in the action box down here, you can type in this. If you can't see it clearly, I'm going to put it down in the description. If you don't want to type, there is a pen tool down, only that my keyboard is blocking it, but you can click on it and then drop, drag and drop it on the, the window you want to activate. Simply, it's going to bring that text there, okay? 
you can clear it and just come and pick the pen tool, drag and drop on the effects for the samplers and then save. That is a simple way of mapping after saving, you can close that window and it should be able to work. I hope you hear it in the background although I'm talking over this. And then I'm going to apply these effects for the music too, for the audio. Someone has been asking for this, it's the same thing. Okay, so go back to your configurations. I'm going to put it for these three settings or configurations, mappings, and then there I'm going to use the first one. I'm going to use the the key that you're seeing there. Okay. Then the second one, I'm going to use another key for caps lock. So I'm going to use a quick pen tool here. Or you can also type effect active one, effect active two, effect active three. I'm going to put this all in the description if you can't see it clearly, but this is a quick way to do it. Okay, you can type that in the box or you can come down and pick the pen tool drag and drop to the effects that you want to activate then after it all save your mappings and then cancel it should be able to work as you press the keys on your keyboard uh, it also has you can interchange the effects i know you know how to do this it has all these controls the first one has its controls for the samplers on top of it there's there are, there are controls over it you can just be creative using this I'm, I'm trying the controls in the background but i'm talking over it if you can't listen to it you can really figure this out on your own i know you know this but if you don't know fine you can explore it on your own i know you're going to be creative with it this one is for the effects that apply on samplers then yeah you can tweak it whatever way you want then there's the other one for the audios also the audio samplers or the i mean the audio effects not samplers sorry those ones so you can come to an effect that you want to use in this case i'm using cut so go back there to the drop down arrow and then come to settings click on it or right on the right the right of uh, the samplers there are controls also here so you can tweak it whatever way you want and then just explore it and be creative with it i really hope this will be very helpful maybe if there's anything that you haven't really gotten clearly in this video i hope you're going to make it in the comment section here if you're new please subscribe i have more videos coming in if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And of course, thanks a lot for watching. See you in my other videos. Peace out.